What's going on guys? Sorry if it's a little windy up here. I figured I'd do something different. If you guys remember, same spot as um, when I did the walk around of my uh, Civic hatch. When I did the rear bumper cut. I'm up on a parking garage next to a bank. But I figured I'd do a walk around up here instead of in the garage. I haven't done much to the car. But I will show you a couple things. First of all, my key fob never worked because my door actuators were messed up. Now that works. So you guys know I got the uh, Integra Type R door panels, Integra Type R uh, door seals. I also got a uh, Integra Type R gauge cluster the type r lights up red and it's in kilometers the red line is at um i think 8400 so now i got three type r parts in the interior oh i also got four type r parts it's a uh legit integra type r brand new shift knob So that's four ITR parts I got in the uh, interior. That's pretty much it for the interior. Um, the only thing I'm missing now is the steering wheel, the seats, and in the rear, obviously the rear seats, the center console, and that's about it. Then I'll have full Type R interior. I still need to get rid of this because I'm trying to delete all the Acura logos. So I got one there, one here, then I got uh, two on the keys. I got the Acura logo on the key and Acura logo on the key fob. Again, sorry if it's windy up here. I can already tell you it is windy. But I'll show you under the hood in a second. My plans for the car, I haven't done nothing to the exterior, but I'm going to be plasti dipping the diffuser part. Now, you might be like, oh, plastic it up, that's rice, whatever, but I'm doing it to see if it looks good. And if it does, I probably will go ahead and finish painting it. And if you look, my rear lip is uh, burnt from when the dude had an HKS on here. Now you can tell I took off the muffler. Call me a ricer for that also, whatever. Um, I don't have money to get an exhaust right now. So it was cheap. Obviously, it was free to take the muffler off. And I was kind of getting bored of this car. I almost thought about trading it or selling it. I had it up for trade and sell. But because the car is kind of boring, having a stock car is kind of boring. That, you know, no muffler, no nothing. Or no, like, aftermarket exhaust. So I took the muffler off just to see how it sounded. And it sounds damn good for, for free. But the wheels are still the same. This valve uh, cap on the other side is super faded. I don't know how it got so dang faded. It looks like crap. It's like almost silver already, which I wouldn't think um, real inkies would uh, fade that quick. But I guess they are anodized, so... Anyway, my plans, like I said, to uh, plasti dip this back piece. I'll outline where I want to plasti dip right here, all the way down. Plasti dip that black. I've seen a couple cars that have them plasti dip black. Kind of like the Mugen lip. Uh, another thing, I got the hood popped right now. I want to get. I was thinking about getting the um, the 0607 Subaru STI V lip. That goes on the front, but I don't want to drill into the A spec lip since it is OEM. Um, so I'm gonna be getting a, a thing called Easy Lip. It's like a rubber. It's like a rubber lip, I guess. It's for like all cars, whatever. It's universal. I'll throw up a photo right now of it. Yeah. 
anyway so that's a photo of it it just it's double side tapes on because the reason I want to do that because I, I seen another car and he has the V lip on there and it looks so dang good he has a V lip and his uh, fog light co uh, covers are color matched silver my car is dirty right now I haven't washed it for a couple days so I'm gonna be painting my fog light cover silver and I'm going to be painting this grill part right here silver on the bumper now this back piece right here is not part of the bumper I'm gonna be painting this piece that is uh, how the Integra Type R's come so I'm gonna be color matching the grill the fog light covers getting that uh, rubber lip and I'll throw up a photo of that dude's car um, that has all the mods it's like the same car, but it just looks so much more aggressive. I'll throw that up right now. Anyway, that car looks like a lot more aggressive. He has like the side uh, side diffusers or splitters, which I don't know if I care for those, but anyway, I'm gonna be doing that. Let me pop the hood real quick. Nothing changed under here. But for all the new people that don't know, Integra Type R valve cover, Integra Type R quill pack cover, Integra Type R dipstick. I did clean it up under here the other day, but it needs like engine degreased. But I can already tell you that wind's gonna be messing with the mic. But plans for under the hood, I wanna get a new oil cap. Um, obviously get a honda battery eventually but i still need to get these dang clips they're like four dollars a piece and i need uh six or eight of them eight of them uh, up here you can see the poly mount insert i took out the rear one because having both of them in it had way too much vibration so i took the rear one out um it's a lot better now it's not as uh doesn't have as much vibrate vibration but like I said this uh, piece is not part of the grill or this is it's not part of the bumper this separates I'm just gonna be painting this piece I'm gonna be rattle canning it there's some uh, color match rattle can off of uh, eBay that's uh, $35 a can so it's like perfect color match so it's some nice stuff but um I don't really know what else to show you guys oh another thing I forgot all about is um I got LED interior lights. Anyway, I got a uh, LED interior light kit off of eBay. It came with uh, these, the glove box light. Can't see in there, but the glove box light, license plate tag light, and the rear cargo light. And it was ten dollars off of eBay. Super cheap. I'm gonna give you a sound clip of the exhaust. Like I said, um, it sounds pretty good for having no muffler. It's kind of raspy on like above five thousand RPM, but that's um only when it's not under load. Like when I'm getting on it, it sounds pretty good. I want to do a sound clip of the back. All right, I said it doesn't sound bad, especially for free. It kind of backfires when you go on the two-step or the two-step. The RSX has like a factory rev limiter at 5,500. So I, I guess you could call it a two-step or a launch control because the factory rev limiter is at, um, I think 79. So there's two rev limiters. So it technically it's launch control two-step. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Another thing is on the headlights, the outer ones did blow is because I got the uh, stage two high wadded ones. So now I got the factory watt uh, Nokia headlights in there. But 
that's gonna be it for this video i'll have another video probably give me two weeks and it should be up um another thing i did sorry to drag it on i replaced the clutch master cylinder in there got brand new oem honda flood uh clutch mat or brake fluid in there um I changed the transmission fluid to AC Delco Synchro Mesh, which is a GM Synchro Mesh. Uh, it shifts so much better. It's still not perfect. Um, I believe the slave needs replaced too because it's gone 192,000 miles without it being replaced. So it could use a slave also, I'm sure. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I've been, just been daily driving the car and it's been doing excellent. But that's literally all I can think of right now. Uh, I will be getting more uh, parts soon. Anyway, again, sorry it took me so long to make a video. But if you guys want to stay up to date, follow me on Instagram at Coda5610. Same as the YouTube channel, CODA5610. I post on there a lot more than I do on YouTube for obvious reasons. It's easier to post a photo than take a whole video. But if you follow me on there, you see stuff a lot sooner. But, alright guys. Take it easy. Here's a quick video of the cluster. As you can see, the Type R lights up. Alright. This is the real end of the video. See ya.